guys, it's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I got myself a little audience. They're on their way over here to see this fish that I caught on a brush hog. I got down on the bottom and came out here in the evening time, guys. So time to catch a couple more bass. What do you think of that? A bass. It's a bass. Isn't that cool? So I got some neighborhood guys over here, curious to see what kind of fish are in these ponds. And now we get to show them. So let me get this hook out because I got a good hook set. Not a big one, guys, but there we go. Texas rig. What do you think? Is that cool? Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. It's always great to have an audience. All right. So what we're doing, guys, we got our Shimano Zodius, just my medium heavy 7.2, 15 pound house fluorocarbon, just a baby brush hog and a green pumpkin red fleck. And I think, I think that's just a 3 16 ounce tungsten pegged. That's all it is. It's got a little bit of uh, garlic scent on it that I soaked up in the bag and that didn't take long. So let's do some Texas rigs as the sun's dipping right next to me. Is the black whopper popper it's cold i'm freezing guys i should have brought a fleece or maybe even put on some jeans but let's get some more bass Ooh. They're, they're chasing it in. I got bit and I had one chasing all the way in even though it looked like that. So I think I found a little spot. There's a little uh, aerator right out there, no doubt. It's still windy, guys. Man, I'm telling you, it's, it's rough out here conditions-wise, but it's going to get warmer during the week. That was two casts back-to-back. -back. I had them coming after it. Here comes cast number three. Let's see how stacked they are right by this little aerator. Oh, little guy again. Jeez. Oh, he got off. That's like four casts, guys. Four casts, one fish, and three misses. So let's keep going. Yeah, that one got away. That one got away. I know, I know. They're, they're little. They're, those are little guys. If the big one bites, we might get lucky, right? Oh, another little dink. That's all right, that's two fish and just a handful of casts. Come here. Still got the numbers, just haven't gotten the size yet. But that Texas rig deals the ticket. All right, let's keep going. Oh, is it bigger? I think it's a little bigger bass, guys. Finally, let's see. Yep, there's a bigger one. Thank goodness. Jeez, a little farther out. Let's see what we got. Stay buttoned. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a, definitely a better fish. Is that the biggest fish of the day? Even after all that work I did on the swim baits, the spinner baits, and the Lipless cranks. That's a fat, that's one of the fatter bass of the day, right there, guys. Texas rig, all day long. There you go. All right, cool. All right, there's three bass. I think it's time to change up and get a new brush hog on here. This one's torn up after three fish and like three or four misses. There it is, the baby brush hog, green pumpkin, red. Take a whiff of those. They've got some garlic scent. I've already soaked them in some Jack's juice, so they've got plenty of scent on them. And this is just a straight shanked worm hook. I think it's a three aught, and you know these thin bodied little baits, you don't need that extra wide gap deal. You just Texas rig these with a little straight shank worm hook. This is actually a heavy gauge, so it's a little bit of a heavy wire with this medium heavy 7.2 Zodius rod. That little bit heavier hook's gonna be the ticket. Got 15 pound test Invisex fluorocarbon going on. Just straight past the barb. Right over the eye right towards the back. I'm not even going to go perpendicular into the bait. I'm going to actually go into this bait and make that perfectly weedless. There's a bunch of weeds in here, so it helps the brush hog sit really, really straight on the hook. Basically, I'm just going to 
poke my finger and let that hook just barely come out and that way you get a perfectly straight perfectly perfectly straight brush hog so there you go just enough of a bite with that standard offset worm hook so that's all I'm doing there guys for the Texas rig it's getting them There, the right there as I swam it back in. Another one of the bigger fish of the trip, guys. Swimming it in, I was getting ready to come up out of the weeds, and I swam it in really, really hard. And there we go, another fish on the Texas rig. I wasn't working it like a Texas rig. I was swimming a baby brush hog, and there it is, guys. That's awesome. How cool is that? Awesome, baby brush hog, and a beautiful sunset, guys. Look, look at this sunset. Is that not the most gorgeous scene ever? Florida all day long guys golly as it fell couldn't even keep up with it jeez back to back cast here we go I'm telling you with this cold front and these conditions guys Texas rig is is probably as finessey as I'd want to go with Florida bass. I mean, I could get a shaky head out here. I'd be crazy to, I'd probably be crazy to come out here with anything less than 15 pound test with a size fish that are probably in here. So it's working great. Guys, this is awesome. I've only been out here probably 20 minutes. Oh my God, right there. Big one, guys. Got the big one. Got the big one. Let's see if we can get him in here. I got him in here. I got the big one, guys. At least the big one of the, at least the big one of the day. There it is. I knew there were some big ones in here. I just had to hang in there. Again, in that beautiful, beautiful sunset. Brush hog, baby brush hog. Guys, this has been an incredible trip. I've only been here three days. There we go. There's more than that. I don't know if I'm going to be throwing that whopper plopper right the way this is going, but I think I should. It's pretty cold out here. It might, may or may not work, but we'll see. All right, folks, I tried to get you that whopper plopper fish, but as you can see, I got greedy with my light again. It's way dark, and I barely can imagine you could even see me out here. So, guys, I'm going to call it. Texas rig baby brush hog. That was uh, the way to go on this cold front. Crazy. I'm freezing out here. It's actually getting really, really cold. It's probably in the low 60s right now. It's coming back though. I'm going to get those 80s here shortly. The 80s will be back tomorrow all the way through the end of the week. This warm up will happen. I'm sure it's going to get hot and heavy out here on the uh, on the little community ponds, golf course ponds. So guys, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.